guys happy fragrance friday so today i am going to go over my fragrances that i wore this past week like i do every friday so i have this like new little series it's um fragrance fridays so i do this every single week and like you guys know if you have been watching my videos i also do post daily on instagram and i post what i wear every day so if you're interested in following along day by day go ahead and subscribe to me here and also on instagram go ahead and follow me there which i will put my instagram handle right here so you guys can go ahead and do that it is also in the description and you can follow along because i am not going to be talking about what i'm wearing today which is friday i'm going to be going back to last friday and talking about friday through thursday so let's get started all right, so it's been finally warming up just a little bit around where I live. It's been staying pretty cold and rainy, but we're finally getting a few days of sunny weather and a little bit of warmth. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get right into what I was wearing this last week. So um, the first thing that I was wearing, and this was last Friday, is this one right here which is gingham vibrant and this is from their new collection their new gingham line basically the latest line that has come out from bath and body works this should be available online as well as in stores so this is probably my favorite gingham scent out of all the fragrance mists that they released um, and this one is the Gingham Vibrant, and I paired that also with the Gingham Vibrant Lotion. And the fragrance notes on Gingham Vibrant are wild blackberries, candied violets, and soft vanilla. So usually I am more of like a gourmand girl. I do not like a whole lot of florals. So I was pretty questionable about getting this one, but I did want to try it out. So I went ahead and went for it. As you guys know, I basically have to blind buy all my fragrance mist and whatnot because there are no stores close to me. So I can't go in and actually smell these products unless I want to drive like three hours, which I don't tend to do. So, um, so yeah, this one smells really, really pretty though. Even though I don't love florals, this one is where the floral is somewhat muted, like the blackberry kind of takes over it. So yeah, it's like a really blackberry forward scent. And then it kind of goes into like a powderiness, which I believe probably is the candied violets. It's like kind of like a sugary blackberry with like a creamy powder almost. So yeah, this one's pretty good. If you do not like florals, you may like this one right here, the Gingham Vibrant, because it is pretty good. And the Blackberry does kind of wear off a little bit in longevity, like when you're wearing it. Like when you first spray it, it's really Blackberry forward. And then as you're wearing it, it kind of gets more where you can get that powdery soft note and the vanilla comes through a little bit more. But all in all, this is a really, really nice scent. It does last pretty long, but like I said, that blackberry kind of wears off a tiny bit as you're wearing it throughout the day. But that blackberry note is so pretty in here. It's like a really fresh, sugary blackberry. It's not like gourmand, like syrupy sugar, but it's like a powdery sweet sugar kind of in a blackberry. And then that creaminess of the vanilla tones it down just right. And I guess that violet probably adds that powdery note, I'm guessing. But yeah, so that was my combo for Friday. That was last Friday. And then we went to Saturday where I was wanting to exfoliate. I don't always share all my exfoliation products that I use throughout the week on these videos because I mainly focus on the lotions and the fragrance mists and what combos I wear here but I'm going to share this one since this pairs along with the body butter that I used so um I started out with this tropic glow um scrub and this is a firming sugar scrub from tree hut 
and I love Tree Hut scrubs. They are so nice. They're super thick. This one smells really good. Like it's not like a tropical, it's not like fruity tropical. The scent is like, it's really good. It's like a creamy kind of scent. Like it's really hard to describe it. It's almost like, um, you know, a little bit nutty, creamy. It's just such a good scent. This scent has been compared to the Boom Boom Cream. So this old de Janeiro one. So I think it kind of smells like that. But yeah, this one's really good. It's supposed to be firming, but um, as you can see right here, it says firming. And I'm not sure if it does firm or not, but I definitely love this as a scrub. I've used quite a bit of this and I'm definitely enjoying it. I don't know why, but this scent almost reminds me of like the mall. I told my husband that too. It's like, I don't know. It reminds me of going to the mall for some reason, but I paired that along with the firming whipped shea body butter. And this is by Tree Hut as well. This is the match to the scrub. And this has been compared to like the Boom Boom Cream. And I believe it has kind of a similar scent. It smells really, really good to me. Um, this one is supposed to be firming as well. It smells good and it's thick and nice and creamy, but it's not too thick. So once you get it on your skin, it feels really, really good. Um, I'm definitely a fan of the tree hot or the tree hut body butters and I would like to try more, but yeah, this one smells so delicious and it does last for a really long time. So once you get it on your skin, it really does last quite a while, like the scent and it just, it goes with my skin chemistry really, really well. And so it just lasts me a long time. It smells really good. And so I went ahead and paired that with this fragrance mist right here from Bath and Body Works, which is the Fresh Coconut and Cotton. And I don't think I mentioned it, but the Tropic Glow, um, this is still available. It's out now. Um, it's been out for a while as well. I think you can get this at Ulta. You can get it at Target. So that's where I purchased mine was at Target. But that was last year, but I know that they still carry that. So the Fresh Coconut and Cotton from Bath and Body Works paired pretty well with it. Even though there's really not a coconut note in the Tropic Glow, this kind of paired it with it like really well. It just, um, it just went together so well. This Fresh Coconut and Cotton from Bath and Body Works has fragrance notes of coconut, coastal breeze and beachside cotton, which is, I don't know. It smells kind of like a really creamy coconut with like a little boost of freshness to me. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this. Yeah. So it's like a really creamy coconut. Like I would almost say it smells almost like a coconut milk or something, but, um, it does have like a splash of that fresh freshness, like almost like a, like a watery detergent or something like, but not really that strong of a detergent or anything. It's really more just the creamy coconut. Like that's what comes out on me. And when I use it on my skin, it really does smell kind of more like a creamy coconut and that freshness kind of takes a back seat but it's a good freshness. Like it, it's almost like the outside wind compared to like combined with the fresh coconut. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it is kind of like a breeze combined with a creamy coconut milk, but it smells really good. I definitely like this one more now than when I first purchased this one. Um, I've been trying it out with different moisturizers and whatnot because I did not get the lotion to go with this one. Um, I could possibly pick up the moisturizer to go with the fresh coconut and cotton. 
probably only at summer semi-annual sale. Like if it goes on sale there, I might get it, but otherwise I probably will not get the moisturizer to go with this one. Okay, so that was Saturday. So now we are on to Sunday. So on Sunday, I was feeling like a little bit more like fancy. I want to be um, smelling kind of more like womanly and a little bit sexy. So I went ahead and used You're the One. And I love this packaging. It's super cute. It's like textured down here. So you can really feel the grooves in it. I love the red cap and the bottle. So this is a really nice scent. It is like a rose scent um, this one almost reminds me kind of, of walking into a department store and, you know, just getting that big woof of perfumes. Like, I don't know, it kind of almost seems more like a perfume for sure. The longevity lasts like all day on this one. This is one of the most long lasting body sprays from Bath and Body Works, I would say. Like it does really last all day. Like I can smell it on myself by the end of the night still. And the fragrance notes on You're the One are White Birch, Velvety Rose, and a Drop of Strawberry Nectar. So it's like a, it is like a perfume. It's got that like woodiness and the rose and then just a tiny drop of sweetness from that strawberry and it smells really good. It really does smell kind of like a perfume from, you know, the department store or something like that. More of like a higher end perfume. Um, I mean, this one probably would definitely be more mature. Like you probably wouldn't wear this one if you were in high school. I mean, some people of course would like it, but I just wouldn't picture someone younger gravitating toward this one. This one definitely kind of has like more mature vibes to it, but it smells really, really good to me. And I actually like to pair this one with strawberry pound cake. I know that's probably a weird combination, but I think it really brings out the fragrance. Like it makes the strawberry pop in the you're the one so yeah it just makes it and it makes it creamier like it sweetens it up quite a bit so that's why i have not actually gotten the lotion or body cream to you're the one because i feel like if i used the lotion or body cream to you're the one that i could possibly be a little bit overwhelmed by that smell like it would smell good but it might just be a little bit too much unless i was like going out or something like that Whereas when I pair it with the strawberry pound cake, it makes the fragrance more playful, sweet, fun, more like a everyday fragrance. And the fragrance notes on strawberry pound cake are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. So yeah, these two together just smell so delicious. Like I love these paired together. It just really does add more of like a sweet tone to this one and it's really nice. So this one actually is really gross. I want to show you guys. I got the lotion for strawberry pound cake just recently because um, I got this strawberry pound cake cream last summer at the semi-annual sale and look how yellow this is. Like it is so yellow guys. But it doesn't smell off. The consistency is still on. So I've been using it. And I really like to pair this one with the year of the one, like I was saying. So every time I wear this, I usually wear the strawberry pound cake. And I don't know, if you guys have not tried it and you are more of like a gourmand lover, I would definitely say you should try these together. Just like smell them, even if you just smell them together. Like you can kind of get the just of, you know, like putting them together. Like it is so good guys. Like these two together are so yummy. I love it. I love what they do to each other. What notes that they bring out. Okay. So that was Sunday. So now we're going to go ahead and go to Monday. So on Monday, 
I want to smell more like a gourmand treat. And <laughs> actually one of these, this one actually is like one of my favorite ones now. Like, I don't know, ever since I got it, I really, really like it. And I didn't really think that I would like it as much as I actually do. And that one is iced lemon pound cake. So I'm usually not like a really lemony person and citrus, like it's okay. But when it is in this like iced pound cake type deal, I love it. Like it smells so delicious. Like it's, you could just smell that pound cake and just everything, how it comes together. Like this fragrance is so good and it is a perfect time of year to actually wear this fragrance. I love the packaging on this one as well. That's why I went ahead and actually do have the full Bake Shop collection in this packaging. So I have the Strawberry Pound Cake, this one, and the um, Sweet Petal Pound Cake. And yeah, this one is probably my favorite one out of all of them. Um, the Lemon Note does wear off though. So longevity wise, this one's not like the best, but um, it is really good. Like I can smell that pound cake throughout the day, but that initial burst of lemon kind of does fade away, unfortunately. But I mean, you can do refresher sprays throughout the day and probably get kind of the same scent going on and more lemon in it. Usually I just use it in the morning and then kind of let it wear off throughout the day. And um, I use that with the iced lemon pound cake lotion because like you guys know, I usually like to pair the matching lotion and mist together because that really does extend the fragrance, especially like when using a fragrance mist that's not super strong. It makes it more potent and just lasts throughout the day. Plus I really do like the lotions and body creams from Bath & Body Works. I've never had a problem with them irritating my skin. It always feels nice. It makes my skin smooth and I just love them. So yeah. <laughs> All right. And so the fragrance notes on the ice lemon pound cake are sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest and fluffy pound cake. So it smells just like the notes that they're saying. You can smell that icing. You can smell the lemon and the pound cake. So I would definitely say this is a really nice gourmand scent. So if you love bakery scents, gourmand scents, definitely try this one out if you haven't. I believe this one might be an online only um, exclusive. So you might have to buy it only online. I do not think they have this in stores, but if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. And, um, yeah, so it should be available online now though. So if you have not gotten a chance to get this one, I would definitely recommend this one. If you are a gourmand lover, it is unique. It's different, but it's got that gourmand and that cake and the lemon, and it just comes together so nice. And that sweet sugary icing, it is beautiful. Okay. So, um, now on to, let's see, what day are we on to? Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I wanted to pull out something that I haven't used for a really, really long time. I have used this like once when I first got it and I didn't care for it. But it's funny because this time when I used it, I actually do like it. So I think my scent profile has changed a little bit or maybe it was kind of the seasons that was throwing it off. And this one is Vanilla Coconut. So I got this one last year and I think it was more in the fall. And this is kind of more of like a tropical summer scent. So I think that might be why I did not care for it at the time. But when I first purchased this one back then, I felt like it smelled like a car air freshener. And I don't know why I got that vibe from it, but I wore it like one day and thought that I smelled like a car air freshener and I just did not care for it from then on. And then I saw it in my closet and I was like, I need to give that one a try. It's getting warmer out. I love vanilla. I love coconut, but there was just something about this one that threw me off that I just didn't like. 
at the time of purchase. So I want to give it another shot because I know that fragrances can change on your body and throughout time. So when I tried it again this time, I did enjoy it. So I actually do like this one now and I think it is a pretty scent. So I'm glad I kept it around and tried it out again. And I do have the vanilla coconut lotion that I used with this one as well. So this was available last year. They did not really release this one this year or they haven't yet. Um, I think this was in their like tropical collection last year. But like I said, I got it kind of late. I got it more like going into fall. So I think that's might be why I didn't care for it as much. All right, so the fragrance notes on vanilla coconut are whipped vanilla, peach blossom, and warm coconut. And at the time, I thought maybe that peach blossom was throwing off the smell to me, like I wasn't liking that peach in there. But in reality, you can't really smell the peach blossom much in here. So it really is just like a creamy... It's like a creamy coconut and vanilla kind of with like more of a tropical twist on it. I don't know if that's what that peach blossom is doing is giving it more of like a tropical feel or what, but it smells really, really good. I mean, it could still kind of smell like a car air freshener, I guess, in a way, but I don't know. It's just more fitting for this time of year, I think, and it's just more like tropical, like I probably wouldn't wear this in the fall or winter because I think it wouldn't fit, you know, the, I don't know, it just wouldn't smell as good as it does in warmer weather and like sunshine. So yeah, it's a really, really creamy coconut vanilla scent. It's got a little bit of sweetness. It's not overly sweet. It's not gourmand or anything like that. But it is a really nice scent. And like I don't smell any peach in here, you know, but it does say peach blossom. So it might be kind of like a slight like floral note. But I think that's kind of what's just giving it that tropical vibe. So yeah, this one was pretty good. I'm glad I tried it again because I did end up liking it. These I did purchase together, but it's funny because they don't really even look alike. So I don't know what is up with that, with this collection, but um, yeah, this was from last year. All right, so now on to Wednesday. So I felt kind of like something different on Wednesday, something a little bit more floral. I actually am not a huge fan of florals, but there are certain florals that I like and can deal with and have tried out and have grown on me a little bit more. And this one actually is Whipped Rose and Vanilla. I got this at the winter semi-annual sale. And at the time when I got it, I was a little bit disappointed by this one. Um, I don't know what it was. Like I had a lot of hype in my mind, I think, from what this was going to be because this actually used to be Whipped Rose Latte and I wanted to get my hands on Whipped Rose Latte really bad. And so when they re released this with the same fragrance notes as Whipped Rose Latte, I definitely wanted to grab this one up and this is Whipped Rose and Vanilla and I thought it was gonna be more like coffee scented I think because it said latte but I don't know why I was thinking that because the fragrance notes don't say anything about coffee I just had that in my mind I guess that I thought it was going to be like that but the fragrance notes on this one are crushed rose petals cocoa flower and whipped foam so when I first tried this one after I got it I wasn't that big on it it was a little bit more floral than I wanted it to be which I should have known since all the um, florals are on the front and it does say, you know, rose petals are in it. But I left it alone for like a while and then I retried it and I actually started really, really liking this one um, as I could pick out more of like that creaminess of the rose. 
So yeah, it is a rose scent. It's definitely floral, but it's almost like a candied rose in a way. Um, you can get a whiff of that cocoa. Like it says cocoa flower, but you kind of do kind of get like a chocolate note in there and the creaminess from the whipped foam. So it actually is really nice together. Like after I got used to this one, I actually really like it and I do really like it for spring. But I do think it's more of a spring scent. So when they brought it out during winter SAS, it was a little bit early. And so I think that could be also why I didn't care for this one as much. Like I like this one a lot more now that the sun is out, you know, you think more of like florals and things like that. But this one's really nice. It could be worn year round, especially if you love florals. And it smells really nice. I mean, it's like a rose, the creamy vanilla with a hint of like chocolate. So it is a really, really nice scent. I like how they did the packaging on this one as well. They did the black cap and a little bit different than they usually do. And I went ahead and paired this with the matching body cream. I don't believe that they came out with a lotion of this one. I think it was just the cream. So of course the notes are the same in the cream as the mist. And when paired together, this one longevity wise actually lasts quite a while. This lasts on my, my skin all day. So I don't know, everybody's different. Everybody's body chemistry is different, but personally, on myself this one lasts all day long it smells good um it's like a really sweet style creamy rose so if you're a gourmand lover you might not like this one but you could possibly give it a try because it does have that chocolate and the creamy note in it as well but unfortunately this one is not available online anymore or in stores. It was only out basically for the winter SAS this year. So I'm sure you could probably pick it up from Macari or eBay or someplace like that, but it probably will be a little bit more expensive that way. But this one is really nice and it's definitely nice for spring. Okay, so now last is Thursday, what I wore yesterday. So um, I actually was in the mood for something a little more fresh. I want to pull out actually something from Victoria's Secret because I've been wearing a lot of Bath and Body Works. I tend to forget about my Victoria's Secret stuff. So I wanted to use something from them and I felt like a fresh scent basically. So I went with the Aqua Kiss. I got this one in winter and I was actually saving it more for like spring and summer because it is kind of a aquatic fragrance. And I do have the lotion that I paired it with. So I'm usually not a really fresh scented girl. I like the gourmands, but this is nice for a change. Like I do like to have options. I like to switch it up. Um, sometimes I can get tired of gourmands and smelling like cake or sweet or whatever. And so it's nice to have something fresh in your collection or floral or whatever to kind of get in a different mood, get in a different mode, you know. And this one on the back, you know, they don't really have fragrance notes on the backs of these. It's more like a, um, it's like a saying. So if you guys can see that, it says cool waters, bright daisy, make a splash. So it is kind of like an aquatic floral fragrance. When I first tried this, I didn't care for it, but it was in the winter. But um, it is a floral forward scent, I would say. It does have a little bit of sweetness and I'm not sure where that's coming from. It almost smells like just a slight, like maybe a green apple sweetness going on in there or something like that. But you definitely can smell like the cool waters, the aquatic type fragrance note in this and you can smell the daisy as well. 
when I first got this, I thought it smelled almost too powdery, too clean, too much, you know, freshness for my style. But as the weather has changed, I definitely want to pull it out and try it. And I definitely did enjoy it quite a bit more when the sun is out, you know, it's getting nice out. So I definitely think I will gravitate toward this one more in summer because it is kind of a nice refreshing scent that is not overpowering. It lasts, but not as well as some of the Victoria's Secrets last longer than this one. This probably would have to be resprayed a couple times throughout the day, even with the lotion because it wore off on me kind of quickly. Like I, I don't know, like when I use like velvet petals, like it almost lasts all day long. Whereas this one felt like it wore off a lot quicker than like say velvet petals on me. So I think that might just be the style of the scent, the fresh scents kind of wear off quicker. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys like Aqua Kiss and go ahead, let me know in the comments. But yeah, the longevity on this one, it wasn't, you know, that great. But it does smell really good. It's fresh. It's clean. It's a good summer go-to, I would say. All right, so that is it. That is all I have to show you guys for this last week. Those were my scent combos that I used throughout the week. Like I said, I always post on Instagram. I post on there every single day. So if you're interested in following my daily scent like or fragrance of that I'm wearing of the day, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I will put my Instagram handle right here so you guys can follow me. And um, otherwise I do videos on here every single Friday and wrap up all the fragrances that I have used throughout the week. So I would love if you subscribe, if you're interested in that kind of content, you want to keep up and I would love to know your scent of the day. So please let me know in the comments what you are wearing today or what combo you're wearing, what lotion, what fragrance mist, what perfume, whatever it is, if it's cheap, if it's expensive, just post it down there. What's your scent of the day? Because I love to hear what other people are wearing and it inspires me to want to get more and to wear different types of fragrances. So definitely, if you enjoy this video, definitely give me a like. Love to hear all the comments and I would love to see you subscribe if you're interested in this type of content. And um, I really appreciate you guys coming and watching this video as well. I appreciate each and every single one of you and I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.